What is going on guys? Gully Boy back at you with another commentary video. And I think this might become a regular thing on this channel. I know I had a comment on my last video about Candace Owens where dude was like, man, why would you even expect Candace Owens to like want to change and change her narrative about how she see black people? That's literally not the point of that video and this video, I'm literally just giving my commentary and I'm just reacting to her BS. Because even though Candace Owens might not change her viewpoint on black people, there are still a lot of black people like Candace Owens that think like Candace Owens. So I'm using her as basically the face of black people that, that act like her. With that being said, she just uploaded a brand new video on Sexy Red. I think this is like her second or third video on Sexy Red. And I said, in my last video why do black people who are conservative like candace owens pay attention to the degenerate side of our race why are you making a video on sexy red if you're so disgusted by what you see if i'm disgusted about something that i see and i don't want to be a part of it i'm not gonna talk about it i'm not gonna shed light on it i'm not gonna post it so other people can see it now you got 100,000 people seeing ratchet sexy red what you're basically doing is you're promoting Sexy Red. But I'm not going to do too much rambling because this is a reaction video and we're going to react to the stuff that she's saying. But before I do that, I also want to say this. I did watch a little bit of this video and Candace Owens actually is going to bring up a point that I wanted to talk about for a long time is that a lot of people feel like music has a big influence on the black community. And that is 100% false in my opinion. And I'm going to explain why when Candace Owens gets to that point. This is just knocking out, how to quote go? Two birds, one stone. Yeah, this is two birds, one stone around this bitch, man. Let's go ahead and get right into it. There is something that I want to respond to. Uh, a lot of people, not actually, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I want to I want to be real here. The majority of people recognize what I am saying about these new artists. It's nothing personal against these individuals like Ice Spice and like Sexy Red, but rather to point to why on earth these individuals would be handed platforms, tons of followers and Grammys for the non-music that they are making. OK, you should not win a Grammy. You should not be up for awards if this is the kind of music that you make. OK, now that statement that she just made was absurd to me because she said that she feels like people like Sexy Red and Ice Spice shouldn't be nominated for Grammys based off the type of music they make. I feel like if you say stuff like that and if you have that opinion, that has to go for everything. Not just ratchet twerk music because just like how you feel like that's negative, how Sexy Red and Ice Spice shaking their ass is influencing young girls to shake their ass, you gotta go after everything at that point. And I know a lot of people out there say stuff like, well, music Music has more influence than anything else. First of all, you have no proof of that. That's an absurd thing to say. But just like how Ice Spice and Sexy Red can influence a community, so does everything else that's considered negative. Basically, what she's saying right here is that everybody need to make Christian music about Jesus and positivity. Well, let me go ahead and say this. What black people like Sexy Red see in her community, there is a 95% chance that is nothing positive. I said this before. I am from the north side of St. Louis. There's not really nothing positive going on in our community. And I just got to be real. You walk outside, you see crackheads, you see drug dealers, you see hookers, you see all of that. So music is an expression of what we see in our communities. Sexy Red is a product of her environment. How did Sexy Red become Sexy Red? Because there were Sexy Reds before Sexy Red. I know, they might, I know that might sound crazy, but rewind it back. You will understand what I just said. There were already thoughts in ratchet females before she was even born. The problem is not the music, it's the environment. Sexy Red and the music that she distributes is harmful to Black America. What she represents is harmful to Black America. I am not going to say that because you vote like me, I am going to support the music that you are putting upon the youth in Black America. Can Sexy Red change her mind? Can she become somebody else? I hope. This is what has always been my hope for Cardi B, right? That they actually recognize that they are being used to peddle filth to the black community like drug dealers. What she said right there is incredibly stupid. Okay, first of all, I hate when people say stuff like Sexy Red's music is detrimental to the black community. You have to go deeper than that because Sexy Red and Cardi B is not the reason why the black community is the way it is. Sexy Red and Cardi B are products 
of the black community. Rap music is not the reason why niggas are out here selling dope. Rap music is not the reason why people are getting killed. It was a shootout in my neighborhood not too long ago. That ain't had nothing to do with rap music. So I hate when people say that rappers are detrimental to the black community and notice that it's always rap music. You don't hear nothing about no video games, no TV shows. No, it's rap music. It's sexy red. It's gangster rap. It's stock rap. That's what's killing the black community. That's what's destroying the minds of the youth. Bullshit. What's destroying the minds of the youth is their environment, the people in their lives, their mothers, their fathers. That has more of an influence on you than sexy motherfucking red. Another thing I want to talk about with Candace Owens, and I've discussed this on the previous video. She sat up here and talked about maybe Sexy Red would change. I hope Sexy Red would change. Why do you hope Sexy Red would change? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, Candace Owens, there is a high chance that Sexy Red is not gonna change. Now, what you can do is actually promote black women that don't rap like Sexy Red. Promote those black women that actually rap about positivity. Why would you expect somebody who already ghetto in a thought to change. That's just like if I walk outside right now and tell dope dealers that they need to stop dealing drugs. There's a high chance that they're not going to listen to what I'm talking about. If I go out here and tell a crackhead to stop smoking crack, why would I focus on the goddamn crackhead and not focus on the positive people in my community that don't smoke crack? Candace Owens has this huge platform. I don't know how many followers she has on her other social medias, but she has 2.69 million subscribers on YouTube. You could literally use this platform to showcase black female artists that have a more positive image because they're out here and they're not hard to find. Candace Owens, you could literally do it yourself. Stop expecting Sexy Red and Cardi B to change, especially Cardi B because she's been out longer than Sexy Red. She ain't going to change. And in case you don't recognize just how severe what I am talking about is, this is what has been making the rounds in the media over the last couple of days. Sexy Red just had a baby. She literally just gave birth. And she decided to share some photos from her in the hospital and make some fun music while she was giving birth. Take a look at some of these photos. Yes, that is Sexy Red bent over, uh, touching herself. Yes, obviously we have censored this photo of her with her legs spread in just a really disturbing manner. There's no other way to say it. This is, this is actually disturbing. It should disturb you. There's nothing funny about this. This is crass. This is debased. This is no way a mother should act at all. But of course, this makes its rounds in the media. And what is the response? Now, I'm going to say this. What Sexy Red was doing in the hospital was straight up thought shit, and I'm not for it. I'm not a... Sexy Red is not somebody who I find attractive, who I... I don't, I don't think that shit cute neither. That, 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 that was crazy. If that was my girl, and she was posting pictures like that, I'm... Man, I don't even... Bro, that's crazy. I'm, I'm going to just be like, bro, that's wild. I'm, uh, I might just break up with you, but I can't break up with you because I got a baby by you. No, bro. No, bro. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> First of all, I ain't going to, nah, bro, I'm not, I'm not sliding in sexy red. No, sir. What I will say again, Candace Owens, if those pictures, and if you're so disgusted by sexy red, if she was, if, if she really, really like got under your skin by the disgusting stuff that she's doing, why would you put this on your platform? This is what I'm not understanding. Why are you showing these pictures to your community? Now, I've always said this. Black folks like Candace Owens that always talk about the degeneracy of our community and that look at pictures like that of dots like Sexy Red all day and talk about how this is wrong and this is bad. Deep down inside, you like that shit because there is no way that you don't like it because you're always talking about it. If I don't like ratchet female I'm not going to keep talking about ratchet females. If I don't like something, if I don't mess with something, I'm not going to keep talking about it. This is crazy. Deep down inside, I feel like Candace Owens low-key want to do what Sexy Red doing. Because she don't seem like she a free spirit. And that's basically what Sexy Red is. She a free spirit. She do what she want. I feel like that's what Candace Owens want to do. I'm trying to make sense of it. Because why you keep talking about it? When you can use your big platform to promote black women that are actually showcasing themselves as being the mothers that you like. Like to see you could literally promote this on your platform i just i just i just don't i mean look i know some people gonna be like why would you expect her to do it i don't expect her to do nothing but i gotta call this type of stuff out because she represents a 
lot of people that come in my comment section and say this same stuff about Sexy Red, about how she's detrimental to our community. I highly disagree with that BS. Sexy Red is not even a, a percentage of the problems of the black community. Zero percent, in my opinion. But um, let's keep it going. And what is the response to a young black person that is seeing that this person is getting attention? What is the response? What is the response of a young black person that's seeing Sexy Red get attention? You're literally giving Sexy Red attention. This is crazy. Just like I said, you can use your platform to promote the positivity in our race. You're giving the girl attention. This is crazy. Why are you showing her ratchet pictures like that? Your audience don't want to see that. Maybe they do. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe her audience do want to see Ratchet Sexy Red because maybe her audience is, is, is them, um, um, them racist white people. Like, look at this. Look at this monkey. Yeah, Candace Owens, man. These videos gotta come out. I'm sorry. I know some of y'all be like, man, I don't even waste your time. Nah, bro, I gotta shed light on this. That just messed my mind up right there. You literally putting them pictures on there so your white audience can make all they look racist comments. Damn. <sighs> Candace, 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 man. You are just one of the biggest coons on YouTube. Response to any young individual, if they recognize that, okay, I can become famous and I can get quick money and my music will be distributed if I'm, if I have no shame, right? If I remove myself from shame, if I put my body all over the internet, if I'm constantly selling sex and I'm talking about drugs and hip hop, this is rot in the black community. I will never. Yeah, it's just, it's just the music. It's just, it, that's, man. Well, I'm finna turn the video off right here because she basically repeating that same nonsense about how sexy red and gangster rap is what's destroying the black community. And I already told y'all what's destroying the black community. Ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn music. I'm gonna end the video off by saying this. I am a huge fan of gangster rap, murder music. I like thought rap too. There are some sexy red songs that I like, bro. Shake Your Dreads is in heavy rotation. But just because I like those songs does not mean that that I'm about to go do some crazy shit. It don't mean that I'm about to get a thought girlfriend. It doesn't mean that I agree with everything Sexy Red does with her with her thoughtery. Just because I listen to King Vine don't mean that I'm for them killing black people in the community. It has nothing to do with the music. It's the individuals. It's the environment that those rappers came from because all the rappers are doing is reflecting on their upbringing. This is why gangster rap exists. This is why thought rap exists because those people came from that environment. These artists are literally products of their environment. I know plenty of sexy reds in St. Louis right now that are, that are, that, that, that have that type of uh, wild spirit that she does. I walk outside and see it all the time. So with that being said, Stop blaming the music and go to the root of the issue. Candace, 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 man. You are just one of the biggest coons on YouTube. <laughs>